Welcome back to part 2 of combinatorial geometry. In this video we're going to be looking at what is called the happy ending problem. It says to prove that given five distinct points there exists four of them which are the vertices of a convex quadrilateral. So here we see our word convex showing up. So let's see how we can tackle this, right? We have five points and let's say I draw them Say I just draw them like a normal pentagon, right? In other words, and let's look at what their convex hull is, right? Because we learned about the convex hull, so let's consider what that is. The convex hull here is just this pentagon. And as we can notice that since this is a convex polygon, if we chose any four of these points, and we we drew in the missing length, then we see that we form a convex quadrilateral, that is, this one. So, and, and this is and, and this is generally true. So, if the convex hull of the five points is a pentagon, then we can just choose four of them. The same goes if the uh, five points has a convex hull of a convex quadrilateral because obviously that convex hull is the quadrilateral we are looking for. So if the points are uh, organized like this, then we can draw the polygon like so. And we see that obviously this quadrilateral is the one we are looking for because it's convex by definition because it's a convex hull. But there's one more case, right? Obviously we can't have any higher polygon than a pentagon here because we only have five vertices. So the smallest polygon we could have is a triangle. So what happens if we have a triangle here and two points inside of it? How can we show that we will have a convex quadrilateral? Well. Let's look at what our convex quadrilateral here is. If I connect the, these points and then these vertices, then we see we have a, qua a convex quadrilateral here. If I if I tried connecting this this one right here, oops, if I tried connecting these four blue dots, right, we see that this this angle here kind of it doesn't allow, or, or really it's this angle, is more than 180, so that breaks our convexity. So we can't choose the those. And the same goes for if we were looking at uh, this point and this point, right? Obviously, uh, obviously we have to choose these two points. These two points have to be the points inside of the triangle have to be vertices of our of our quadrilateral. But how can we show that two other of two of the other vertices will always allow us to make the convex quadrilateral? Well, the proof goes as shows. We extend the line that the two points make. Obviously, this line has to hit the triangle at two points. Right, and it and it in only two. It can't go less. It can't hit only one, right? Because this line is sort of in inside of the triangle, and it can't hit three, right? It is impossible to draw a line that will hit all three of these segments at once. That goes against lines. <laughs> but now we see sort of our connection here, because if if the points hit here. And here at these sides, then we just choose the points here and here that are across, uh, across from it. And to illustrate this once more, I'll draw another triangle. And let's say I draw uh, two points here and uh, here maybe. 
and as we see if I extend these two lines they hit these segments that segment that segment and therefore we choose these points these two vertices and these two vertices and that will give us our convex quadrilateral as desired. And so this is a complete proof because we have our all of our cases. The case where the convex quadrilateral or the case where the convex hull is a pentagon, the case where the convex hull is quadrilateral, and the case where the convex hull is a triangle. And all of them, no matter no matter what, will contain a convex quadrilateral that is the happy ending problem. Uh, I, it is named happy ending because uh, two mathematicians who worked on this ended up getting married after solving the problem and some of its further generalizations, but I don't remember the, their names off the top of my head. So anyway, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy uh, my next few videos on combinatorial geometry.